What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? You know it's Tokyo H Boy TV, and I'm back with a, another one. You know I'm going up like helium. I'm at these niggas' neck like necklace. Before I jump in this video, make sure I hit that like and make sure I hit that subscription button. Now let me jump right in. I'm gonna make this video very short. You feel me? I just wanna play the air. You feel me? Like so. I'm going to be the first nigga to say this shit. You feel me? I'm aware that Canelo Alvarez is being targeted by the LDBC. And I want the Canelo Alvarez fans and fanboys that I am not a part of the LDBC. I am not racist. I am not a black hater. I am none of those shit that y'all niggas say. You feel me? My thing with Canelo Alvarez is he has not became undisputed yet. He has one of the best record in boxing and in boxing history. He only lost one fight to Mayweather, which has the best record in boxing. You feel me? So I want to see him become undisputed. And I'm pretty sure y'all as his fans, y'all want to see him undisputed also. So there's nothing wrong with me feeling like Canelo Alvarez should fight Demetrius Andre or Canelo Alvarez should fight Charlo so he could take those belts so he could become undisputed. There's nothing wrong with me feeling that way. I feel like y'all should feel that way too. Now, a lot of Canelo Alvarez fans feel like Terrence Crawford has not fought nobody. And he has not fought the best opponent. You feel me? A lot of y'all feel like Terrence Crawford has not fought the top names in boxing. And I could say that is 100% facts. He has not fought the top name in boxing. You feel me? I admit to that. Terrence Crawford has not fought the top name in boxing. I don't ever sit here and say Terrence Crawford... I'm, I'm for all the top name in boxing. I can admit to that. I hold Terrence Crawford accountable for not fighting the, bo the top name in boxing. Let me explain. He made a bad business decision when he went and signed with top rank. You feel me? And I'm pretty sure he probably regret that shit. Now that Bob Aramat threw his ass under the bus. And now that he struggles to get the top, top fighters in the ring with him. It's hard enough that they don't want to fight him already. But now he doesn't even have the 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 the, the money. And he doesn't even have the, the promoter to sit here and push him to that stardom which, which he deserves to be at. So I hold him accountable for not fighting the top fighters in boxing. Because of him making a bad decision signing with Bob Arum. Like I just said before, it's bad enough that Danny Garcia, Errol Spence, Sean Porter, which was his mandatory, you feel me? I'm going to get to that a little bit. Sean Porter, which was his mandatory, don't want to fight him. But it's bad enough when you got a promoter that don't even want to pay them niggas that, 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 that don't want to fight the nigga. So how the hell, how the hell this nigga's going to get those fights? I hold him accountable for that. Y'all got a whole Canelo Alvarez accountable for certain things because he's his own, he's his own boss. He could handpick anybody that he wants to fight right now. I'm aware that the LDBC, they target the nigga up. They, they, they make excuses, you feel me? They don't talk about Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo cherry picks and, and Jamal Charlo don't want to fight nobody. His next fight is, is Cartiel or whatever that nigga name is. That is a disgusting cherry pick. I talk about Jamal Charlo. I talk about why Jamal Charlo doesn't fight Andre. I talk about all of that. And I'm still I'm still considered an LDBC member. And I'm still considered a Canelo hater. I don't understand when I split shit down the middle. I hold everybody accountable. Everybody I hold accountable, bro. Everybody. So I don't understand this notation when whenever somebody says something about Canelo Alvarez, they're a hater. When, 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 when Canelo Alvarez fans is allowed to say, yo, 
Terrence Crawford hasn't fought anybody. And I can admit to Terrence Crawford have not fought the big name in boxing. I can admit to that. But y'all can't admit that Canelo Alvarez is is picking is, and picking and choosing and fighting niggas that nobody don't want to see him fight. Despite of what hey, um, um, any of us of um, any one of us think, you feel me? We can't, I can't take away the greatness of Canelo Alvarez, bro. Y'all can't take the way to take away the greatness of of Terence Crawford. I can't take away the talent of of Terence Crawford, the boxing skills, the switch hitter from southpaw to orthodox. I can't take away the hard hitting and the IQ from Canelo um, Canelo Alvarez. I can't take that away from him. You feel me? But when somebody says, "Yo, Terence Crawford has not fought the best fighter in boxing," I can't get mad for that. I could, I could, I could find, I could, I could sit here and tell you the reason why. You feel me? But when other people are saying, "Yo, Canelo has not fought the the, the best name in boxing," you feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all response to that is, "I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear y'all haters." Like, come on, bro. I, I admit that 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 those two fighters are being targeted by the LDBC. That's why if y'all go back to my old videos, I was protecting Canelo Alvarez. You feel me? Until I realized that he he he's about to go and fight. He he fought um Alden Yildirim. That was his last fight, and now he's about to go fight Billy Joe Saunders. And now he's gonna fight friggin' um what's his name Callum Callum Plant after that. And nobody wants to see him fight those guys, bro. They want to see him go and try to go for the belt and become undisputed. Because now when he retires, a lot of people gonna be like, oh, Canelo Alvarez did this, he did that, but he didn't clean out of the division. He wasn't undisputed. Do y'all want that dark cloud over his career? No, y'all don't want that dark cloud dark cloud over his career. So that's why. I'm saying Canelo Alvarez should go in there and test himself against the Jamal Charlos and the Demetrius Andre in the world. It doesn't matter what y'all think, bro. What y'all think does not matter, bro. What y'all think, you feel me, about, about oh, Canelo Alvarez, um, Canelo Alvarez don't want to fight this, this guy because of this reason, don't want to fight this guy or that reason. It's going to show in the record books that he is not undisputed. And it's not gonna be Canelo is, is, is um um is not undisputed because it's not that's not gonna be that way, bro. It's not gonna be that in the record books. It's just gonna show the fights that he wins and the belt he wins, and it's not gonna say undisputed champion. You feel me? So I I, I just wanna ask y'all, do y'all wanna see him fight the Jamal Charlos or Andre? You feel me? And if y'all don't wanna see him fight them, then it's fine, bro. It's cool. It's fine. You feel me? But I would love to see Terrence Crawford get in the ring and fight Sean Porter and fight all of these fighters and fight all of these niggas. That's why I hold him accountable. That's why if he doesn't, if he fights a friggin', um, um, what's his name? A uh, Jose Cedar Lopez, his next fight, I'm going to hold him accountable. I'm going to get on his ass. Pause. I'm going to hold him accountable. That's the same energy I want y'all to have with Canelo Alvarez, bro. You feel me? I've been saying I don't want to see Terrence Crawford fight Virgil Ortiz. The reason why, I feel like Terrence Crawford would beat the shit out of Virgil Ortiz. I want Terrence Crawford to fight Sean Porter. Sean Porter got way more experience. Sean Porter is a, is a better fighter in my opinion. That's why I want to see Terrence Crawford fight. I don't want to see him fight um, Virgil Ortiz. But the LDBC... They blame Terrence Crawford for not fighting Sean Porter. And everybody knows that Sean Porter been the mandatory for, for, for mad long right now. And he still hasn't fought the nigga. But they still can't blame Terrence Crawford for, for, for not making that fight happen. And that's where that's why I said I understand the LDBC is targeting um um what you call it? Um Terrence Crawford. And I understand niggas saying yo Canelo Alvarez fighting Yoderum, you feel me, as a cherry pick. I understand that Yoderum was his mandatory. I understand that. So I understand that people saying, yo, Canelo Alvarez fighting Yildirim, um, 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 Callum Smith, you feel me? That was, that, 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 um, oh, he's, he's, he's cherry picking. I understand that. I understand that they're talking to him by saying that. You feel me? But y'all gotta, y'all gotta hold Canelo Alvarez accountable for fighting Yildirim and for fighting Billy Joe Saunders that nobody wants to see him fight and about to fight Callum Smith right now when he got two on, on, undefeated fighters right now. Undefeated fighters right now that has a belt that everybody want to see him fight, bro. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. So, if y'all if y'all listen to what I'm saying and don't try to look at niggas uh, hating because they're criticizing uh, um, um, y'all favorite fighter, then y'all realize it's not hate. It is not hate. It is not hate, bro. 
You cannot hate on stuff that's factual, bro. You cannot you cannot say a nigga's hating when they talking about stuff that's factual when they're not saying it maliciously. You feel me? The reason why I came at Canelo Alvarez the way I came at him because of his fans, bro. Y'all don't like admitting certain shit when 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 I gotta sit here and admit that Terrence Crawford did not fight the best names in boxing. That's a fact. And it's a fact that Kenel Alvarez is, is 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 not fighting Jamal Cholo or not fighting Andre, and they're undefeated fighters, and niggas want to see them, want to see him fight them. That's a fact, bro. It's a fact, and I don't think he's ever gonna fight them, bro. You feel me? That's a fact. That is a fact. That is not hating. It is not hating that Terrence Crawford did not did not fight Danny Garcia. It's not hating that Terrence Crawford did not fight Earl Spence. It is not hating. It's a fact, bro. Niggas want to say Terrence Crawford fight um, 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 cab driver. It's a fact. Terrence Crawford fought um, um, cab drivers. It's a fact. He fought ca cab drivers. He has not fought the best opponent in boxing. That is a fact. You cannot. When somebody say that, I cannot get mad for that. I could just find a, I could just find a valuable reason why. Because they don't want to fight him. And he's a shitty ass promoter. You feel me? But 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 uh, but when people t say well uh, well why doesn't Canelo fight Andre when Ca Andre was calling him calling him out when he had the belt you feel me? When people say that, y'all 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 be like ah oh, I don't want to hear that y'all haters you you a hater you feel me? Like why why it gotta be like that? Why it gotta be like that? Why it can't just be like yo you know what you dead ass talking facts like. Yeah, Canelo Alvarez needs to fight those guys. Just like I said, Terrence Crawford needs to fight those guys. Y'all should hold the same. Y'all should hold Canelo Alvarez under the same fire, bro. There is, there's nothing wrong with that, bro. That is that's that is constructive criticism, bro. You can do that with a fighter without sitting here and hating on them. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. Now, when I said I'm gonna get back to the Terrence Crawford and the and the Sean Porter thing, you feel me? Sean Porter. Was Terrence Crawford mandatory for so long and he did not activate his mandatory position, so now he lost it. So now he's he's gone. Like he's the the he's, he, he's I don't I don't think I don't think the fight is gonna happen. I want the fight is gonna happen, but I don't I don't think it's gonna happen. I want the fight to happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I just don't think it's gonna happen. Cause I don't think Sean Porter really wanna fight Terrence Crawford. I feel like he wants to go ahead and fight Earl Spence a second time because he knows that Earl Spence got away by like a little pinch. Got to wait by a little pinch. You feel me? I feel like he just clout chased Terrence Crawford. I don't think Terrence Crawford per se wanted to fight Sean Porter either because of their friendship. I don't think he's afraid of Sean Porter. I'm pretty sure Terrence Crawford would knock Sean Porter all the way out, bro. He would knock him all the way out. Sean Porter is not the mandatory and Terrence Crawford is vacating his belt and, and, and sit here now nah, and say I'm not going to fight Sean Porter. That's not what is going on with Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. What's going on is Terrence Crawford... It's on a shitty ass promoter, like I said, with Bob Arum. You feel me? So he's been chasing Manny Pacquiao while Sean Porter was his mandatory. Manny Pacquiao pulled out of the fight. Now Ort Virgil Ortiz is is Sean. It is, is Terrence Crawford mandatory. So uh, Terrence Crawford is gonna fight Virgil Ortiz, or he's gonna put Virgil Ortiz on hold and fight Sean Porter. But I'm not gonna stand for that if Terrence Crawford go fight in Jose Cito Lopez, bro. I don't want to see that. I'm gonna hold him accountable for that. I'm going to hold him accountable for, for that. Because now he had the option of fighting either Sean Porter or he had the option of fighting um, um, Virgil Ortiz now. Now that Manny Pacquiao shit didn't go through, now he has the option of fighting them two niggas. There is no Manny Pacquiao no more for you to say, yo, all right, Manny Pacquiao, I was chasing Manny Pacquiao. There is no Manny Pacquiao. Either you're going to fight Virgil Ortiz, Sean Porter, or Keith Thurman. That's how I feel. That's going that's that's going to shut up all the haters, bro. Canelo, either you going to fight Charlo or you are going to fight Andre to shut up the head. All the niggas that 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 that, that you said that you going to fight, everybody already thinks you're going to beat them. That doesn't count for something. Like the fans, the fans want um, um, want to see niggas fight or the fans want to see great fight. You feel me? We are the one that's putting money in y'all pocket. Like like the best the the, the fighters that we want to see y'all fight, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. We the one that's putting money in y'all pocket. You feel me? We the one that's doing that. 
So that's my thing, bro. Like, y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm not arguing with y'all. Y'all don't come on my stuff and try to argue with me because I ain't saying nothing. Bias. I call, I call it straight down the middle all the time. I hold Canelo Alvarez accountable. I hold Terrence Crawford accountable. But at the end of the day, those two boxers are being targeted by the LDBC. And that's how I feel, bro. And I, and to, to wrap this up, I feel like Canelo Alvarez and Billy Joe Saunders is going to be a great fight. It's going to be a great fight. I don't care what nobody want to say. I'm not counting out Billy Joe. It's going to be a great fight. If y'all think that Canelo going to destroy him, then y'all think that. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I feel like it's going to be a great fight. You feel me? And that's it. I'm out.